Hey guys, this is a video for Medicine Ball Cleans. Let me walk you through the points of performance as I perform a super slow uh, Medicine Ball Clean and then we'll talk about the purpose. Uh, in this movement the purpose really matters because there's 700 ways to do this but the way we do it uh, or the way that I'm going to describe it uh, really depends on the purpose. So, let me walk you through the points of performance. So you're going to start with the ball uh, almost right under you, just a little bit more in front of you, but very, very little. Then you're going to go into a more, into a deadlift position, but you'll see that I'm not really in a deadlift position, more like a squat, right? Why? Because that's going to allow me to use the legs more. And then I'm going to stand up. When I'm around here, I'm going to extend the legs aggressively. Let the ball come up, come under that ball and then back up, right? That's it, so let me repeat that. Ball is almost right under me, squatty deadlift, extend aggressively, come under that ball, squat up. That is it. Good. Uh, so let's break this uh, movement into three parts and analyze each one of them. The first is the deadlift. So we're thinking about the, the full movement, the, the, the kettlebell, the, the, the medicine ball clean. If we were just thinking about deadlifting, we could come here and just stand up, right? The ball is never gonna be so heavy that I need to really use my legs so that much. But we're thinking about extending very powerfully, right? And so it's gonna be very beneficial to be here so that I can then be in this power position and then extend, right? If I'm more here in a deadlift position, then when I extend, I'm gonna to have to do more like a kettlebell swing. That means the ball goes in front, right? And so on that deadlift, that's why I'm squatting a little bit. Good, now let's talk about like the extension. I want to extend the legs, that's what I'm thinking about extending, right? Like knees, ankles, and then I'm gonna let that ball come in and come under that ball, right? So I am not rotating, I'm just extending aggressively and throw, throwing that ball up, right? Really throw that ball up. Uh, don't be afraid to do so, right? We're thinking about this instead of the curl, right? So I'm thinking about like throwing it up. When I throw it up, I rotate my hands and come under, right? And that is actually the last part is the easier, which is when the ball is here, if you track the stitches, if the ball is there, I'm just gonna rotate my hands around. And as you'll see, the, the stitches don't move because I am rotating the hand around instead of rotating the ball. This rotates the ball, the stitches end up looking at me. This rotates the hands, the ball stays uh, uh, there. And so I extend, rotate, come under and stand up, right? And that is it, those are the points of performance. Why do we do it like that? We're thinking about, ooh, you see how my heart rate is? I just work out too. But we're thinking about the medicine ball clean as a movement to teach my athlete to do a barbell clean or to do a, a, yeah, a barbell clean really. And I'm using it as a conditioning piece. So it's a way to make the clean, to turn the clean from a, a strength and power exercise into an aerobic exercise. And I want to transfer both ways, right? And so that's why I want to keep that form as is. You could totally do this, right? There's really no problem doing that. You're not gonna injure yourself, nothing is gonna happen, but we're gonna be missing the point of the purpose of the exercise. Uh, now, if you wanna condition your deadlifts and your curls, uh, this will be, and I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic, this will be a good way. Like, the logic works both ways, right? So uh, again, the mechanics are very simple. Uh, 
I'm gonna get into a squatty deadlift. Aggressively extend, come under, rotate the hands around the ball, squat right back up. Uh, now you see, here you go.